A huge one is focusing on culture and development. Um, so of course, you can't do the X's, X's and O's, the systems, the penalty kills, the power plays if your team can't pass the puck, catch the puck. Uh, and I also think culture is huge. As long as I've been coaching, I've always thought that I've had a really good plan for all my practices and things like that and what I'm developing. But uh, I think the, the biggest thing that we've been learning here is uh, it's really about incorporating real life game scenarios into your practices. So, so many of the speakers that we've had here, they, they coach elite players and we think we try to connect the dots from those players to the players that we are actually coaching. Um, you can connect them through small area games. Uh, Dan Hughes just gave a great presentation um, on you know utilizing small area games that you know, use at the highest level, but we can also use it with our mites, with our squirts, with our peewees, with our six teams. So I think those are the big lessons that they're hockey players and let's just coach hockey players and what works for the highest level can also work for the youngest level.